What up, everybody? Bitcoin's currently trading at $97,958. Definitely not too bad. Did have a little bit of pullback. As you guys may know, crypto market's been in shambles the last few days. Hopefully, you've been buying the dips. There's been some nice recoveries. I definitely plan on DCAing into a couple more projects, especially if it goes down a little bit. Cast me at like seven cents. I was with that. Um, and as some of you may know, Zegex or Zegex or whatever that is, is down. We may touch on that uh, at the end of the video because that does kind of affect spec mining because, uh, yeah, but we'll get into that. But yeah, we got a new spec mine. We're going to show you guys how to get it set up. Windows, Hive OS, all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the spec mine we're going to be going over today is Cryptex. I meant to make a video on it a little bit earlier, but then uh, that didn't happen. Uh, got really into some trading, so did not get this to you as early as I would like to, but we're working on it. Um, yeah, so Chris, uh, Crypt Cryptex is just like a, another like block DAG type crypto, so hardcore reduction super fast transaction fees, all that fun stuff. I mean, it's essentially just kind of another Casper clone for the most part. I mean, yeah, kind of sad to see say, but you know, it, uh, one thing about this coin is it is already listed on an exchange. The price is holding relatively well. I haven't worked out the math of what it would be on my farm, but you could potentially, uh, mine a little bag of it. It's currently trading on MechaSex. I've never used that exchange. I probably will never use that exchange. But uh, yeah, your own discretion. Do your own research. Don't listen to idiots on YouTube. Um, but yeah, its price is currently sitting at 0 0.00251. Um, but yeah, one second block time, monthly reduction, block DAG, community pool. All the stuff pay, you receive, you hold, accessible. So as far as mining goes, because that's what you're here for, uh, come over here, click on this little start and then go down to the mine. You can get your wallet, do all that. They do have a web wallet. I'm not going to lie because of my faith in these projects lately. I'm just going to use the web wallet. If the project dies and the wallet crashes and well, I don't need the crypto. So that's kind of my thesis behind this, but also remember, not your keys, not your crypto. Don't hold crypto on exchanges at this point. Don't even like provide liquidity on exchanges unless you're prepared for it to just disappear. Um, yeah, so there are two miners you can use. You can use the Cryptex all-in-one miner. If you want to get into all that fancy stuff, you can go ahead, do that, run your own node, all that. I'm lazy. I will not be doing that. Uh, we're going to be using the SRB miner. Uh, so, you know... For Windows, go ahead, click it, download it, extract the file, all that. Nice thing about this is it's already, they already have a, all we need to do is find the stupid folder that we have it in. Yeah, that guy. Open that back up. So, once you get it downloaded, extracted, all that fun stuff. As you can see, I did try to play with the Cryptex one, but gave up relatively fast. Um, you're going to come over here to Cryptex, edit for pools. Since it's already on mining pool stats, we can just come over here and pick a pool. I started off on their community pool, which isn't up here. I think it like crashed or something. Um, it was having some issues, but for now the GOG pool, since there's not really any good options for the USA, we're going to use this pool. You're just going to click on it. It'll take you. You get your stratum, all that fun stuff. Come back over to your miner. All the algorithm, all that stuff's going to be set in. So you're just going to come over here after pull, paste in your stratum, and then wherever over here where it says wallet, do wallet dot whatever your worker name is. Go ahead, hit file, save. You're all set up, ready to go there. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys are feeling about the crypto market right now. Cause like I've been really pessimistic 
not really, but pretty pessimistic of the market, just in a like gradual sense, not thinking that it's going to be the same as it was back in uh, uh, 2021 and all that, when all the good stuff was happening. Some people still had faith that was going to come back. I did not. Do you still feel that it's going to pop off like that? Or are you just kind of like you're making your profits where you can and that's just kind of how it's going to be? Because, but yeah, that fun times. I'm still mining and still doing crypto. So, you know, hopefully could still be a millionaire at some point, maybe. But uh, yeah, so for you Hive OS folks, we're going to go ahead and go to your wallet. My computer is being slow and I'm not digging that. May, we may cut this out, maybe or not. Go ahead, add wallet. Go ahead. You're gonna type in crypt whatever, create wallet, pasting your address, name your wallet, wherever it may be, hit create. And then you're gonna come down to your flight sheets, coin. We're gonna come and find Cryptex wallet. Pool, configure and minor, minor, because we're lazy. We're going to use SRB. Setup hash algorithm is going to be crypt, cryptix hash. We're going to do wallet dot worker name. Copy that over. Go ahead and paste in your pool. Find it right there. I don't like that they have GPU plus ASIC, but you know, at this point, does it really matter? Go ahead, paste, and apply changes. Create your flight sheet, don't forget to name it, and you should be good up in mining. I did tests on my AMD and NVIDIA cards. Uh, NVIDIA cards, like always, tend to be a little bit better, but at the same time, it works. Um, Yeah. So that's how you get Cryptex all set up in mining. Uh, we'll see where this project goes, but it's not even listed on a good exchange. But speaking of exchanges, now that uh, apparently this guy, ZX guy, uh, the CEO got hacked, blah, blah, blah. And or his telegram got hacked. Uh, potentially some are saying that it could be through like a 2FA. They got their 2FA, his 2FA, his like uh, SIM, his SMS 2FA, and then were able to get into his... Uh, count stuff and hack it and now everything's down apparently funds are still safe that's what they're saying but you know that's what they say they just don't want people to panic but as far as this whole situation goes uh first of all you should never hold your crypto on an exchange you should never uh not your keys not your crypto simple as that me personally i mine to an exchange or this exchange just for uh certain projects like warthog just because i can't hold it on my phone really. Uh, and I've been selling it. I, uh, have a portion I send away, have a portion I keep and I sell well, and then I sell it and move it off every, every other day, every day or two. And then I have a couple liquidity pools that I was just participating in a little bit of extra passive income on a couple of cryptos I was holding nothing too super hardcore, but, um, now that it's down and ZX had kind of made the place for the best exchange as far as uh let's go ahead and make this bigger uh they were kind of the ju just the best exchange as far as like spec mines because it was a really good place uh you could actually use the exchange fees weren't crazy no stupid extraness and so when a coin got listed you could easily buy sell trade do your thing with it in a good place to do that well now that for one now they're not just out of the blue listing projects which I understand is definitely good probably on their side because then they're not getting a whole bunch of tokens dumped on them that are trash and so that understandable uh but because of they don't do that it's been a little bit harder for spec mines because then they get listed on some no-name exchange and of course the guy who made like 700 bucks or whatever is gonna not care about spending 40 bucks in fees or whatever the exchange is and so it's still profitable for them to do that. They usually have massive farms and this is usually just like a dent in whatever is going on there. But for smaller miners, like one of the plays I was running is sometimes picking up these spec mines, you do three or $4 better than you would just uh, mining something else for whatever the period was like, and an extra $4 a day, especially coming off a bear market, relatively good. But 
now that all this has happened yeah spec mines might not be really the play anymore which means as far as my channel goes we have to find uh another avenue to keep making content and i'm kind of a lazy crypto miner i ain't got a crap ton of power got you know the the wife hates the heat and uh yeah so we're gonna figure that out but i've wasted enough of your time uh thank you you guys who even watched this far in the video you guys have a nice day night don't forget to like su subscribe comment down below helps us the channel and uh yeah peace out hopefully we get rich